So I'd like to take this opportunity to call on the next speaker, to call on Dave Frederick from Mark Bishop Associates. And he's going to talk about what the, the black community needs to do to strengthen their economic base. So hopefully it should fit in line with what I've just spoken about too. Thank you, over to you, Dave Frederick. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for that, Mavis. Wonderful session you provide us with. Um, I couldn't agree more with some of your points. I'm going to talk briefly this afternoon about um, what the black community needs to do to strengthen their commit base. And I'm gonna take, I've taken a different approach for this topic. It's what I call uh, a um, educational approach because I've called it the ABC of what the black community needs to do to strengthen their commit base. And you'll see as I proceed. Well, the starting point in any alphabet is the A. And for me, uh, what we need to do is have solid attitude and attitude that is built on wanting, yep, and looking at growth and firm foundation. F secondly, my A category, I've got adapt, acquire, and acquire. We must be able to adapt. Some we've been doing for some time in um, UK and wherever we locate or migrate or grow up, okay, adapt to different environments or different settings. And we've seen how we've adapted quite successfully during the last eight or nine months during COVID, we must also do the same sort of thing in adapting to build a sound economic base. And my final A is the acquire and acquisition. And we need to acquire core skills that would help us grow. And alongside that as well too, we need to make sure we acquire assets. And this is important when I say assets, and let me explain what assets are. Assets are things that we buy today that can provide us with an income for the future. And I'll just differentiate between two items and explain why one is an asset and why the other is not an asset. A car and a house. In my definition, I do not consider a car to be an asset as an individual, unless of course, that car is being used to generate revenue for you. Because a car, its maintenance costs you. And in fact, when you buy a car, before you bring a car home, as you drew off the forecourt, guess what? You've lost some value already, be it 20%, 25%, it's called depreciation. Whereas an asset like a property, you can rent it out to generate revenue for you, whilst at the same time having capital growth. So that's A. The B in the alphabet is something that um, Mavis was waxing lyrical about, and I couldn't help but smile throughout, is about business. Yep. To have a strong economic base, we need to start about thinking about having a business. And I just run over some of the points that Mavis was actually saying. Um, first of all, a business is not about doing things all by yourself. It's also not about tax evasion. Let's be quite clear here. It's not about any of those things. It's really about satisfying a demand for output of goods and services that you've created for others, and also you have created employment. It's big on creating employment for people. So a business is about creating employment. Second, add to that as well too, it's also about having the correct structure, as Mavis rightly says. Um, without a structure, it can't go up, it can't grow. You imagine your house, you've got a lovely roof, lovely ground floor, but only one wall. If you put the roof on the one wall, the roof will come tumbling down. And a business is no different. You must have a solid structure, a foundation, 
but also supporting pillars and a roof, a sound structure. In fact, structure, process and procedures must be operational. And as Mavis rightly reminded me in her talk, as a business, it must be able to stand alone, i.e. operate without your presence. Hence why I say creating employment. Because many people say to, say to you, oh, I'm in business. And what they really mean by that is they are trading or they're either hustling, doing a side gig or whatever, because if they're not here, it doesn't exist. Moreover, they're not creating a legacy to pass on to their loved ones. So an economic base is about us building businesses, but businesses in that strict framework, a structure, making a profit, creating employment. Those are important because if it's not creating employment, we can't go away and have a business. And also, if we're not creating employment, we're not giving individuals or others the opportunity to demand goods and services in other places. Let us see. In my alphabet, I'm talking here about competitive collaboration. I'm here really seeking to smash, destroy and break down a long held myth that's been passed around about the self-made person. Self-made. There is no self-made. Um, to grow and develop, you need other people. Um, and I'm, my perspective here is about, it's about com competition or competitive, but through collaboration. By yourself, you can't do it. It's not about the me, it's about the we, togetherness. So together, you've got a stronger unit. I'll continue to my D. D is about being driven, but moreover, having digital intelligence as the market and things change and move on. That you need to be driven. Um, understand why it is each day you wake up and what for, what you're going to do. Allied to that, you're engaging with the changing economy, both globally and nationally, in terms of digital. Yep. Are you doing things in different ways? Or are you still working with yesterday's know-how? If you're with yesterday's know-how, you're swiftly and slowly drifting away. E is my big one. I have three E's here. E's for educate. Educate yourself and keep educating yourself. And I must say, do not confuse education with long time staying at school or long term schooling. It's about educating yourself in all things business and enterprise. So you are able to be strong and grow strong. Moreover, educate yourself in economics. Understand the important components of economics. And simple economics is about two things, demand and supply. And understand the importance of both those roles. And try and shift yourself and ourself from being demanders or consumers where we're spending to suppliers where we're providing for others and in turn receiving income for reinvestment. The third E in my three E's is enterprise linked to business. We need to develop an enterprising or an entrepreneurial mindset. What is it? that I might be able to create and do for the marketplace. And I'm quite chuffed and excited by this because during COVID, it's been really great for seeing enterprise because many people 
have used the period of lockdown, stay at home, to develop and focus on areas of their strengths they've not used before. Hence, they are now entering different areas for themselves, which is quite prolific and enjoyable. In the alphabet, my F is about being focused and flexible. The two are not per opposite. You can focus on one thing until successful. However, you must be brave enough to want to change and adapt if it's not going right. For example, during the period of lockdown, those of you in hospitality would have seen that um, you were shut with your restaurants. You've had to ad adjust and adapt your model to takeaway only, to keep going, to, to maintain yourselves, body and soul, and your staff. So although on one hand, you can focus on your goal, what is it you want to do, where you're going, you need to equally need to be agile enough to be flexible, to change footing if you see the road ahead is shut or blocked off or blocked off. Coming to the G, we need to grow. Grow in all spheres. Grow our relationships. Grow our funds. <coughs> and grow our minds, yeah? Because unless we're gonna grow, we're gonna stand still in the economy. And we, by, being, by growing, we're opening up ourselves to new opportunities. We, we are open to new ideas. And also in that G, we must give up on negativity. Negative thoughts and negative attitudes and also negative people. That people say, oh, it can't be done. Why do you want to do this for? I try this. That's fine. It may have been tried, but they weren't yourself. Importantly, is a H. To understand the economics and business, we need to have fitness, body and mind. So focus on your health. How ready are you? To be ready for economics and business, you need a healthy body and mind. How are you doing regarding your health and your fitness? That's important. And also as well too, if your health is well and you're holding on to your health, also think about holding on to your cash and your assets a bit longer. I think people have said that money, when it falls into our hands, does not get circulated within our community for long periods of time. There is different figures being banded about. So think about holding on to what we've got a bit longer, or perhaps holding it on for at least one generation to pass it on so that each generation doesn't have to start from base zero. I'm going to end this afternoon with my eye because I've given some reflective thoughts for people to have discussions about. And the last one I want to about is I for investment. We need to invest um, because that's creating things for the long haul. Savings is for the deferred spending, but investing is for the bigger picture. Just before I close though, I must jump to my M. And the M is a big one for me, the mindset. We need to have that business and entrepreneurial mindset. So what I've given you is just a, my initial alphabet of the areas I think are important for us in what we need to start thinking about in creating the need to strengthen economic base and start to have that discussion. These aren't definitive. These are just my ideas based on speaking to the business community, people like Dawn and others around and sharing ideas and presenting this 
for a discussion. If anybody wants my full list, okay, please feel free to contact me. I can be reached at david at marcus-bishop-associates.co.uk or contact Dawn and I can let you have my comprehensive list from A to Z of what I think are the ABC of what the black community needs to strengthen their economic base. I'm open to questions or any further debate. Thank you, Mavis. Thank you.